It's getting closer and closer to Christmas. And one way we can track how many days we have left to wrap the presents, make sure we're not on the naughty list, and prepare all the festivities is to use an advent calendar. I'm going to show you how to make your very own, either for yourself or to give to a friend, so you can count down the days together. Before we start, you need to make sure that you've downloaded the template from the link below. There's two options. There's one with double doors and one with single doors. So print it on paper, and then you'll need an extra bit of card or two as well. Some scissors and a ruler, then you'll need a glue stick, and all the fun decorative bits that you have. Pens, pom-poms, glitter, whatever you can find and want to use. Let's crack on with our template first. It's time to decorate. Grab all of your sparkly things, your pom-poms, your pens, your glue, your glitter, anything that you want to decorate it and make it your own. So I started working on mine earlier. I've coloured in the doors um, and I'm going to do some more pictures around here. So I'm going to draw some stars like this and then I'm going to get some glitter on the go. Let's do some lovely wiggles. Okay, and then I'm going to get my glitter. I'm going to put some glitter down the side. Red and green is nice for Christmas. And then drop that off. Lovely. Once you've decorated your template, it's really important that you then take some time because we're going to cut it out. Make sure your adult's with you and what you can do is you can fold the doors and we're only going to cut on the solid lines. So we still want each door to be attached to our advent calendar and we don't want a big hole in the middle. If I start with the big one here, I can show you. You can do it like this and give it a little chop to help you get the scissors in. And then you're going to chop down the sides of each one. Perfect. It's a little bit fiddly, so take your time and make sure that you're happy and that each door opens and closes beautifully. Because it can take a few minutes, I've had to go at preparing another one. Here we have all the doors ready. Move this one out the way. And we're ready to attach it to the back. Get your glue, turn it over and we're going to stick it, stick it down to the piece of card that you've got. Now you can have coloured card, you can have white card, you might even have some um, cardboard that you could stick it to if you want something that's a bit more robust and thicker. Give it a firm press down, there we are. Lovely, and now your calendar is ready for you to start drawing inside. If you grab your pens, you can draw some, whoops, some lovely things. I think we're going to do a Christmas pudding in this one. There we are. With a sprig of holly. Beautiful. Once you've drawn pictures in each square, fold the doors to the closed position and it's ready. You can use a heavy book to hold them down if you want until the 1st of December. And voila! Your very own adorable advent calendar. These make great gifts for your loved ones, so get creative and you can give one to everyone you know this December. If you want to bring some maths into what you're doing when you're making your advent calendar, as you open it each day in December, you can practice your subtraction by working out how many days are left until Santa arrives. If you've enjoyed this activity, why not head on over to Santa's STEM workshop online to find more activities to make, bake and create with your family. I'm going to go and pop this up ready for December. So from me, I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.